I'm, I've taken all all these river uh, glacial radics that I've collected and put them around in the dead space behind my bushes. So now the whole thing's just uh, lined with them. Yeah, it's a nice area of interest, and you'll note that these are not just any old white river rocks. Uh, these are hand-picked because of their beauty. So this is the dry version here, and first I'm going to give you some close-ups. And see This rock's very pink, and somewhat tannish. We have a lot of granite here. Look at the banded. Look at the bands in that. So these are the glacial radics I've collected for the last two months. Down by the river. Those two right there, they're about the, uh, almost as big as a bowling ball. A few of them are local rocks. That's uh, cephalopod, an older fishing age rock. Most of them are glacial radics. That's a conglomerate there. You can see the various uh, other rocks embedded in it, almost like concrete, but that's uh, natural, not man made. And of course, these wonderful granites. And some other rocks as well. Other rock types. Other green. Just beautiful. Look at all the speckles in that. There's three, uh, three minerals in granite. There's uh, mica, which is the black. And there's quartz, which is white. And the uh, and feldspar, which is the pink. This one doesn't have much feldspar in it. That one does. Quite a bit of pink in that one. This one's slightly banded, and I really like this one. That's why it's out in the front. Okay, to increase your luck, fossil hunting, you have to have on a fossil t-shirt to imbibe yourself with good fossil fortune. We are at the Little Miami, there's Weird Dog Shadow, running along the shore. There's Keegan Boy, and here's Connor Boy. And we are looking, we are on a mission. 
We are trying to find glacial erratics. We live in Cincinnati, Ohio, world famous for its uh, Ordovician Age fossils. And uh, I had a neighbor who came up here and found some wonderful glacial erratics. And that is fossils not native to Cincinnati ordinarily. They, uh, my neighbor found uh, some Devonian corals. Really cool. Anyway, so we're enjoying ourselves looking around. Now, the fun thing about uh, rocks by rivers, they're all worn smooth and uh, rounded. This one, for example, has all types of trace fossils in it, probably pedicles from clams, maybe worm holes, most likely from pedicles from clams. Anyway, but all the rocks are rounded smooth from all the transported water and debris, just the way it is, water-worn rocks. Oh. Shadow found a ball, so we're going to have fun with her. And labs love to swim. Another rock with tons of bryozoids, all worn smooth by the water. Very common. Okay, now to be more accurate, um, most of these rocks are smooth and featureless without fossils, but some of them on occasion do have the fossils in. Now I've wetted that one, but uh, so you've got to keep your eyes peeled looking for the really cool fossils. In a few of them. Big, beautiful bluish gray one. Again, it's not limestone or shale. This is something else. Another glacial erratic. We've got a lot of them around here. We're having fun seeing what we can discover. Connor is my A-plus fossil hunter today. He found the elusive quest, what we have come to find here. And he found it. He found a Devonian age coral. I am so proud of him. Now, this is a very small one. This is one solitary cup. And this does not look like Ordovician at all. Look at that. Wonderful. What do you think, Connor? Look up here, look up here. Are you proud of yourself? Mm -hmm. Here's the wet version of it. Oh, that's neat. I am so jealous of my son. He found it and I didn't. And they say the reason why is because they're shorter and they're closer to the ground. They can see things easier than us big adults. Those glaciers pushed rocks hundreds of miles away from where they came from. And here we have taken the glacial erratic rocks that we found and placed them into the aquarium. Very nice decorative element. Now the glacial radics are now resting peacefully in our aquarium and they're nice decorations for our fish. We're going to another section of Little Miami, uh, continuing our search for Shadow. glacial radics. Hey, we're going to a place that's uh, not on the map. You don't have the public wandering around like the last few places we've gone. Anyway, so uh, we hope to find more plentiful, less overpicked uh, rocks and fossils here. We finally made it over. I'm going to go over a creek at a low point. Very pretty. More rocks and we can shake a stick at. Lots of things to see, search through. 
this is all virgin territory to us and it does indeed look like less people have picked over it just from the richness of what little I've seen already. I found a depression of a uh, snail. Awesome. Dead now. Huge difference. All right, now you can see see the cutaway section. So part of the horn coral is going through this rock, and it's sliced. You can see all the little tiny.